Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Episode 15 of the Cheddar Jack Podcast. 15. Today we have a very special guest. Introduce yourself. What's up, guys? My name's uh, Alexander Luke. Some people know me as Big A. Some people know me as Xander. Xander. Uh, where'd you get the nickname Xander from? All right, let's get through all your nicknames. So Yeah, Big there's, a. there's a lot. Big A. Where'd you get the nickname Big A from? Pete Lyon, actually, when I was in... Sixth grade, I think, uh, just randomly started calling me Big A one day, and it's it stuck with me ever since. Why? Because you're big. I'm six four, uh, and I've always been above six foot since I came out of the womb, actually. So you came out <laughs> six foot. Yeah, six. How much, came how much out you weigh? I uh, weighed about two hundred fifty pounds. Okay. So, um, what are your other nicknames? Yeah, so uh, Big A. Big A, Xander, Alexander. Where'd you get Xander Alex, from? It's just the last... Short for Alexander. Short for Alexander. But, it's the last but who five started? Years. You always been called that? I don't know. It kind of started coming to me at college this year. Um, so, let, so so college. So how old are you? I'm 19 years old. I attend Liberty University. I'm a fashion design major with a studio art minor. So, how do you like it there? It's good. Yeah, Liberty's cool. Uh, I mean, This is your first year there? First year, yeah. First just year? about to finish up my first semester. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's good. Life's weird with COVID, uh, so it's not a normal college experience, but for the most part, uh, everything's open and I'm in person. Masks on, social distance, of course. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's fun. You know, uh, how do you like it there? I like it. Yeah, it's a good time. Beautiful area uh, right in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, yeah, it's a good time. Really Virginia. cool skate scene. Virginia, baby. <laughs> Lynchburg, Virginia. Yeah, yeah Virginia's man. for lovers. What made you want to go there? Um... Just the community there. It's a really cool art uh, and fashion scene. A really good skate scene. Um, Year-round snowboarding on Snowflex, which is our big mountain. Uh, that's for, I think it's the only turf mountain in America. Really? Um, yeah. That's sick. So, uh, so what? Like, how'd you? How'd you like? F like find out not find out about it because I mean how did like, I hear about Liberty yeah how did you like what? well yeah my sister actually is a senior at Liberty uh, shout out to Kennedy um, she's a field hockey player at Liberty and um, she going pro like I don't think there is figured? professional field yeah, hockey yeah I figured but like is, is she nice with it like, yeah yeah she's good she's yeah she's pretty good full ride uh, I don't know honestly <laughs> you know the Big Cheese has a full ride football scholarship to uh, yeah. Notre State. Dame. Oh, Penn State. Yeah, yeah. They're starting. Uh, well, I mean Notre Dame, all, like pretty yeah, much yeah, every. They all fight over me. Every, every school, pretty much. I, I'd uh, fight over you. Yeah, yeah. You you fight over. Yeah, bro, come to a Big A University. Big A opening uh, spring twenty twenty one. Where? Where's it located? It's uh, located in. Uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah, <laughs> Connecticut, New Jersey. Where this? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You ever hear of um? Uh, I think there's a, it's called Jersey Shore, PA. There's, I think there's I a, know, the Jersey Shore is fake, it's a conspiracy. Yeah, there's actually a town in uh, PA called Jer Jersey Shore. I think it's Jersey Shore, or something like that. Have you ever heard of Wildwood, New York? No. It's, a, it's, one, of, it's one of the five boroughs of New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. You need to get re-educated, son. Along with uh, Ocean City, Stone Harbor, Avalon, and... Uh, this is New PMA. York? Yeah. Isn't uh? Is it Manasquan one of them too, or is that the seven boroughs of I think that's California? In, no, I think it's in Boston. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, Virginia. hit up Big Cheese for your geography lessons. Big yeah, cheese. he actually, he tutors me right now for uh, my history <laughs> class. Yeah, I have been, and you've been getting straight A's. <laughs> straight A's, Big yep. A getting straight A's. Yep. That's, what, that's why they really call him Big A. Yeah, because mm -hmm. he gets all the A's. Um, 4.0 student. Really? No. <laughs> that's what I thought. Um, no, nope, not even close. But that's okay. Hey, so C's gets degrees. Exactly. Right. So is college. Speaking of that, is like college tough? Like, how are the classes? They're pretty. They're pretty. Honestly, it's not that bad. Uh, it's a lot of independent work that you have to do. Your teachers aren't really on your back about getting your stuff turned in. So is that? Does that? I mean, I could see that being uh, a pro and a con because I mean, you kind of get to do it on your own and your own yeah. pace, but also. You do it on your own. With yeah, I, I personally real. enjoy it a lot. Um, I think it's, I learn a lot better that way. It's, you, you really learn a lot about yourself and you have to get a lot of self-discipline. Um, yeah, it's a good time. Do you it's, have any trouble, like, 
motivating yourself to, you know. Some days, some days when I want to go out and skate or do other things, uh, but I really should be hitting the library for the next few hours. I, oh, yeah. I sometimes will not go to the library and just turn in a few assignments late, which I don't suggest doing, but, you know. What's your biggest library grind? Like, what's the most you've spent in the library? I mean, I, obviously, it's your first I piece. think six hours. Straight? Damn. Yeah, six hours straight doing math homework, like the first week of classes. Damn, dude. That's So, was it in the more, like... The after class, the yeah, it was from, like, 1 o'clock to, like, 7 o'clock, I think. 7 or 8. Just grinding out math homework. So, is there, like, a... What time did the library close? I think the library closes at 11. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you have homies who stay, there like, hella late? Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of goons that are just in there they just sleep all the over time. some nights yeah dude we have big library sleepovers um <laughs> lock-ins like lock -ins, library yeah, lock like yeah. all-nighter all-nighters yeah daily yeah have you pulled an all-nighter yet thankfully not yet i get to sleep <laughs> like two o'clock yeah every, every night and, and what when's your first class uh his first class is on 9 20. so you get it's not bad you get sleep so is it like uh enough i know sleep. i know personally i wake up like with just enough time to eat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't typically eat breakfast until about twelve o'clock. Okay. <laughs> At eleven or well, probably like eleven or twelve in between my classes. Okay. You eat like a dining hall or like huge. Yeah, yeah. We place. have a good cafeteria. Shout yeah. out to Rot. Um, the, the Rot. Rot. That's what we call our dining hall. Yeah. The Is it because the food rots there? No, it's actually a funny story. Um, so it was it used to be owned by the Marriott years ago. Okay. Um, and so people used to call it the Marriott. It's really called the Thomas. Thomas something dining hall. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it used to be owned by the Marriott and then kids started shorting it to the Rot like <laughs> 10 years ago or something, way before my time. But um, yeah, so now the Rot's stuck. You were still six feet though. Still six, still feet, six yeah. feet, yeah. 10 yeah. years ago, you were six, six feet. Yeah. Have you grown since then? Or no, just stay the, same? stay the same. Real talk, like what, how, like how, were you always the tallest kid in your class? Yeah, I always was. It was a competition between me and these two other kids uh, when I went to school at, at New Hope Solbury. Um, it was always between me, this kid Christian, and this kid Connor. We were we'd always fight over who's the tallest, and kind of each year would be a little different. But for the most part, I came out on top. Yeah. So let's talk upbringing. Where'd you go to? Where Where are you? Where are you from? Yeah, bro. Born in Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, raised in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Um, when did you move to New Hope? I moved to New Hope when I was one or two years old. Uh, my dad's originally from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and my mom is from New Jersey. Uh, and they lived in Colorado through for the first few years of marriage, uh, and then they moved to Pennsylvania right before they had me. Uh, and then we moved to New Hope when I was like two or three years old, okay. probably. Um, lived there the past, I guess, 17 years, and then my family moved to Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Uh, two years ago and living in the house that they're in now and I actually moved out to North Carolina last summer um, with some friends just yeah. to surf skate you know live live the American dream oh yeah exactly. so uh, where'd you go to oh, my, like where'd you where'd you go to yeah school? so I went to school new at New Hope Silbury a public school from kindergarten through ninth grade and then 10th through 12th grade I uh, did a homeschooling program called classical conversations uh, in Newtown, Pennsylvania. It's a charter school, so I go in one day, well, I went in one day a week um, just to get help on some assignments and whatnot and just to make sure I was keeping up with my work. Yeah, you better be keeping up with your work. I was. I graduated. Uh, not a 4.0, but I graduated. <laughs> big, big That's what matters. Matters. Some A's. Yeah, some A's. Some A's. Nice. So, uh, did you like it at, uh, like, either of those schools? Like, how yeah! <laughs> New Hope was cool. Uh, definitely not my scene. I'm, I'm not a big school person. Never been. Um, so what? Like, what made you uh, do homeschool ten through twelve? Yeah. So I I've been traveling a lot um, ever since I was a little kid. So I grew up competitively snowboarding um, and just surfing and skating a ton and just always had the passion for seeing the world. Uh, so my parents, because of how much I was traveling and because I was missing school. Um, my parents thought it'd be a good idea to homeschool me, so I got homeschooled for 10th through 12th grade just so I could travel and kind of follow my sister and see all the field hockey games with my family. So that's yeah, fun. You got a sister? Time. Yes, older sister. And any other siblings? Yeah, younger brother who's 14, shout out Anderson. Um, yeah. Andy? Andy? We don't call him Andy, he's uh, not there yet. He does not look 
He's not like 14, he's like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, yeah. and he looks older than me. All the Lukes are big heads. Yeah, we're big heads. Yeah, big James, dogs. James is a... Yeah, bro, shout out my father, James. James. So, so James is your actual name. Yes, okay, so my full name's James Alexander Luke the third. Not oh, actually. The third. No, not actually, it's just James <laughs> Alexander Luke. Well, what's your, your dad's name? Yeah, my, ja my dad's James Arthur Luke, uh, along with my grandfather. So, so kind, you're kind of the you're the third. Well, if, I, if, I was Ar Ar if I was Arthur, I would be the third. But my parents named me with the intentions of calling me Alexander, but they wanted to keep the family initials the same. Okay. The J-A-L. Nice. So, yeah. Jow. Jow. Are you gonna, you have any plans of naming, if you have a kid? Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick with the job, but maybe I'll do different J A and nice, keep the like same L. So, so technically, you're like the third. Jow, yeah, yeah, I'm the third job, but the first and one and only Jow James the, Alexander. Jow three. That's your Jow three. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah it's not, sense. sounds like a <laughs> uh, sounds like royalty. James I, I am Alexander Luke. Yep. Very, very formal. Yeah, bro. We, we're bu business only here. So you're a king. Uh, what are you the king of? King of. Uh, Nowhere, man. I'm just if you had to be the king of something. Oh, jeez! If I let's, had to let's choose, go, yeah. um, like a country. Give me a country. Country. Let's say Sh Europe. King of Europe. King of Europe. Yeah. Just the whole, the, the whole, whole thing. thing. Yeah. Rule it all. All right. Cool. What would uh, what would be your first executive order as king? Make skateboarding a hundred percent legal everywhere. Okay. On anything. Nice. I like I like that. I can get behind that. Um. So going back to you were talking about trips. Yeah, trips. I've Give me some the memorable world. trips. Okay. Uh, so recently, my most recent out of the country trip, I went to Europe with a good friend of mine who Jack knows, Nate Myers. Yeah, that Big was shout crazy. out to Nate Myers. That was crazy. I remember that. That was crazy. That was literally like when when COVID, COVID hit. hit. Yeah. So I actually almost got stuck in Europe. Um, Probably I wouldn't have come home until a few months ago when the borders opened back up. So what was that like? Like how scary was that? Uh, it wasn't scary in the moment because we didn't realize how severe COVID was and how like crazy the world was going to get. But the craziest part was probably leaving your home thinking that you're going to spend the next month, month and a half in a foreign country and then coming back to just normal life. But leaving your home with this thing called a pandemic, COVID starting to happen and then coming back into complete lockdown in the world just never being the same. So you were there for a month? I only made it there for three weeks, so oh. about half the trip, but yeah, we were supposed to go for a month. What countries were you in? Uh, so I flew into Rome, I had to immediately fly out of Rome to Spain because the day we flew out, well the day after, so we flew out the day before Rome completely shut down. So we almost got stuck in Rome to start. <laughs> and then we flew into Spain and spent some time in Barcelona. So it chased you. Yeah, it basically, yeah. basically chased us. We didn't, neither me or Nate brought it back to America though. We both Thank God. quarantined for two weeks and tested negative. So we're, we were fine. Um, yeah, so we flew into Spain after, so we flew into Rome, sorry, um, stayed there for like eight hours, realized we had to fly out because <laughs> they were shutting down, flew out, flew into Barcelona, um, and then stayed in Barcelona for two weeks, I think, and then after that flew into Nice, France, just as a little like weekend cool off, really cool beach town um, in the south, south, like the bottom of Spain. Not Spain, the bottom of uh, France, and then after that we were supposed to fly into Paris and then spend some time in Paris, uh, and that didn't work. That did not work <laughs> out. Uh, right before we were gonna fly out to Paris, my girlfriend at the time uh, gave me a call and she's like, "Hey, you know everything's shutting down in Paris and in all of France. Like it's really bad. Like you guys should probably come home." <laughs> and we were like, okay, like, we'll think about it. Maybe it's not that bad. And me and Nate just kind of sat and, like, thought it through and talked to my parents and, like, prayed about what would be best to do. And we were like, damn, we probably should go home. So yeah. super bummed out. So how much of this did you have planned out? Because it sounds we, like... Yeah, okay, so we had... A good amount. We had the first half of the trip planned out. With Did you flight flights book? Yeah, yeah. We had flights booked for everywhere. We had the a Eurorail pass, which would give us access to basically to three countries to travel into uh, on the Eurorail, which is like a super high speed train that travels literally through all of Europe. Um, so we had a fl flights booked, Euro pass bought, ready to go. 
Um, and we had our, all our stay in Barcelona booked and our stay in Nice booked and our place in Paris booked. Um, but we didn't have anywhere to stay in London where we were supposed to go and nowhere to stay in Amsterdam where we were supposed to go. Because I have some family and friends out there we're just going to stay with. Um, so yeah, we had to cancel our Airbnb in Paris, which was a big bummer. Uh, and we had to rebook our plane tickets to oh, yeah. come home, so which these was were, crazy. These were all Airbnbs? That you yeah, Airbnbs, at? hostels we were so staying in. So how many in. of them were understanding of, you know, you, like, canceling? Uh, 6.5. <laughs> <laughs> Six only, only one of them. Only one of them. But she was kind of pissed. The lady, we were like, hey, we have to cancel. And she's like, you can't cancel. I'm like, well, we can't, we can't, we can't like, get stuck in Paris. Yeah. Like, we're canceling, and she's like, all right, like, it's fine, I understand, and she gave us a refund. Was it stuff, just you nice. and Nate, or were your parents? Yeah, no, it was just me and Nate. Um, how'd you get the money for those trips? Saved yeah. up, saved up some, and my parents were very gracious and gave me some money as, like, a graduation gift for high school. So, oh, wow. um, like, did you end up having to spend more, like... What? Yeah, we spent a big chunk of money I'd just to get home. Mean, it was, that was... It was probably more than we would have spent on the yeah. entire trip alone just to book our flights. Yeah, so basically, girl, my ex-girlfriend called me and was like, hey, you guys got to come home. Um, so I called my parents, and they were like, okay, like, you guys should come home. Like, this is good. We'll fly up first thing the next morning. So we went online. We were calling our airlines to be like, hey, like, this is happening. Like, can you change our flights? And they were like, yeah, we can change your flights, but for, like, a big chunk of money. We're like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> It'll be cheaper just to buy new flights home. Yeah, because you guys would have had to find somewhere to stay if yeah. you guys were stuck there. And I mean, judging by how long we kept the borders closed, you guys would have had it. Like, yeah, we would have, it would have been bad. We would have been, been stuck, probably sleeping in like a gym, like just yeah. on the floor somewhere it's, or yeah. being homeless, like in Europe. That's crazy. Would have been a crazy story. This podcast kind of, would have been a lot more interesting. And but your boards? No, I didn't bring my skateboard or anything. Oh, wow. We just kind of went out there, um, basically just to see everything, travel. I'm Good. big into fashion, so I was meeting up with some different uh, brands out there to do just some modeling work and other things. And I was meeting up with some uh, big name uh, UK influencers to do yeah. photo shoots. Uh, did you get to do any of those? No, sadly, I did not. Um, yeah, so we. Booked our flights, um, we had to travel, we couldn't get an, a direct flight, flight from Nice to JFK because there's there was no flights, mm -hmm. everything was already booked. So we had to fly Nice to somewhere in the UK and then from somewhere in the UK we had to get another flight to go somewhere else in the UK and then from that other spot uh, in London we had to fly home from JFK so I think it was a total of 50 hours wow. of traveling Dang. just to get home and we made it back like the day before they shut down the borders that's crazy Europe. yeah so let's talk Buzzer Peter yeah Buzzer seriously Peter. it was crazy we uh, but yeah it's it's insane we're so happy that we made it home to our families safely um and yeah it's, it's crazy crazy world out there yeah so uh any other memorable trips from uh like oh I have, yeah like, crazy ones so like i was saying i grew up competitively snowboarding and just snowboarding since a young age um well let's how did that come about like let's talk about yeah that. So, so your parents are well your dad's from colorado yeah. so he he i'm guessing he kind of got you into snowboarding when you were young he, yeah so i started i actually skied before i snowboarded so i started skiing when i was two years old um and skied from when i was two to about five uh, and then at five, I started snowboarding because I saw like these kids riding around on this one plank of like yeah. whatever, a snowboard instead yeah. of like these two skis that were under my feet. And I was like, I want to do that instead. Yeah. And my dad grew up born and raised skiing, like was not really about snowboarding and mm -hmm. whatnot. And so he teased me, called me a knuckle dragger, you know, <laughs> going to the dark side and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, finally let me try snowboarding out. So I took a lesson and absolutely fell in love with it. Um, so I started snowboarding from age five till I mean now I still I so when, when did you get competitive with it probably when I was 12 maybe I started doing contests nothing crazy not really traveling much for contests just kind of like local rail jams and stuff like that so yeah. mostly par park yeah park okay. stuff um but I love riding big mountain all mountain parks everything. yeah yeah what are some uh what are some of your favorite mountains um hmm. around here born like we're Road Bear Creek, that's been my home mountain since I was like five years old. My sister grew up on the riding on the race team and my dad was a ski coach up there, uh, Bear Creek. So I love that mountain, definitely been my home mountain for as long as I remember. 
around here, Big Boulder Park, shot at Big Boulder, produced insane snowboarders yeah. like Reed Smith, Miles Fallon, um, a bunch of other goons that just ripped that now are like big names in the snowboard industry. Mark Gamma. Mark Gamma, yeah, Jeff Fields. Jeff Fields. Shout, shout out, out Jeff Fields. Yeah, shout yeah. out Jeff Fields. Um, yeah, so... You ever, you ever snowboard in Colorado? I have not, actually. I oh, skied wow. out in Colorado a good amount of times, um, but never snowboarded. Mm. Yeah, and then Vermont, the Vermont's sick up north, you know? If you stay away from the Vermonsters, it's really sick. Yeah. <laughs> Some locals the, are crazy the up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Killington, super fun. I have some crazy Killington stories. Killington's cool. Killington's I've cool. I've hiked down it, never ridden down it. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, Jay Peak is also a great mountain, Smuggler's Notch. Really fun trips there. Um, to go back to your question about some crazy experiences like uh, on snowboard trips and just trips in general. We have some, we have some pretty good ones. We have right some, there. Yeah, oh, yeah, we have some good ones. But uh, so my first trip up, not my first, my second or third trip to Vermont um, I was with my dad and my younger brother and my best friend, Paul John. Did a um, monster attack you? I, that would have been a crazy story, but no. <laughs> so we were driving up. Um, it was like, we left super early in the morning. It's like a five hour drive. And we get to Vermont finally. We're driving through Burlington and my dad's old car, which is actually my car right now, 2011 Highlander. Toyota Highlander. With the Camaro with engine. The Camaro <laughs> engine. The Camaro engine. Uh, so one of the windows was actually broken. So like the lever, you could push it down, but if you push it down, it would not go back up. And so the entire time, Paul John's in the front seat talking to my dad from like three in the morning till like, I don't know what time we left, but we left super early and like we get there, it's like 10 o'clock, we're like two hours from the mountain. We're, we're just in Burlington, you know, almost up there, just kind of checking out the scenery. We pull into a gas station to fill up and Paul John's like, damn, it's hot in here. And he presses the window to roll down. Uh -huh. And my dad looks at him, he's like, no! And he rolls it down, but then it won't roll back up. Oh, so it's like below freezing, like 10 degrees outside, yeah. windows down. My dad's like, we can't drive up the mountain like this, we're gonna freeze. <laughs> so we pull in to a local Toyota dealership and they're like, yeah, we can fix it for you in like two hours. We're so like, what time is this at? Like, this is like 10 o'clock in the morning, like okay. pretty early. We're just waking up from like me and my brother in the back sleeping, just waking up, you know, stoked when Vermont but the first bummer of the trip, the freaking <laughs> car windows, like not working, yeah. it's down. So we are pulling into, so we pull into a Toyota dealership. Dudes are super nice. Big shout out to Toyota dealership in Burlington. Um, <laughs> just them though. Just, no, just them. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we pull in uh, and they're like, yeah, let's fix the window. And they're like, so what are you guys here for? And we're like, oh, just a snowboard trip, you know, like, like we do every year, just checking out some of the mountains and whatnot and just having a good time getting some preseason riding in. Um, and they're like, oh, that's awesome. Did you know that the Burton headquarters is like five miles from here? Like, no way. Like, that's so cool. We want to see that. And so like, yeah, like we can shuttle you over there. And so instead of sitting in the lodge or like the whatever yeah, the service center yeah, yeah. at the Toyota dealership, they shuttle us over to the Burton headquarters. That's uh, um, And we get a tour of like the whole facilities. And sick. at the time, me and Paul John are, I mean, still huge in snowboarding, but at the time our dream was to build tiny homes live in tiny homes, working and designing and building snowboards at the Burn headquarters. That's sick. So as little kids, we were just like nerding out, like going in and meeting all of these crazy people, some of the riders for Burton and like some of the head engineers there. That's sick. Um, got to see, got a tour of the facility, got some gear, got to see at the new boards. It was so cool. Like huge shout out to everyone at Burton there. Such kind people, really, yeah. really great guys. Have you been there back? Have you been back there since? Or? I have not. <laughs> I probably should. Cause, yeah, um, you, gotta, you gotta do that, bro. I know, I need to go up this season, maybe. Um, Vermont trip would be sick. Have yeah. you been riding a lot recently? Like, in the, in rec like no, recent No, so, yes. Uh, sadly, I didn't get to get one day in last season. I tore my rotator cuff on a skate trip uh, and surf trip to North Carolina last November. I remember that. You so, couldn't skate I couldn't birthday. skate for my birthday. Um, I was out for, like, five or six months. Damn. Just couldn't ride, couldn't skate, couldn't snowboard. Couldn't surf anything. It was it was really tragic. Uh, couldn't compete at all last season. Really just put me in a slump. Um, so even when I was better, there's a few weeks left in the season, but I just I didn't have any motivation to go out and ride, which was a bummer. So any plans this year to go out? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a trip up to Seven Springs, Pennsylvania. Um, really sick mountain. Good parks. Uh, I was supposed to take a trip to Utah to see my good friend Andrew Galena, who's a tattoo artist, to get some work done and to ride out there in Utah with some uh, some local homies from up here, like Reed Smith and some other dudes. 
But sadly, because of COVID, once again, yeah. I just ruined another trip. So hopefully this summer or definitely next season, I'll get out there. That's sick. Yeah. Any other memorable trips? Um, I'm trying to think. The Rotator Cuff is a cool story. Yeah, let's talk. Rotator yeah, cuff. so this was my first trip I went on by myself. Um, I was 17 at the time, about to turn 18, and I was like, hey, mom, dad, like, let me go to North Carolina and visit family and some friends for a couple weeks. Like, so what, who, who, what? Who in your family lives down there? Yeah, so uh, one of my uncles and aunt live out there, and then my great aunt lives out there, and my grandparents are building a house out there, and one of my other uh, aunt and uncles so are like going to be moving out there soon. Yeah, a big portion of my family uh, lives out in Wilmington, where I moved out to last summer. Um, so yeah, so I went out there, uh, it was like the fourth day of the trip, I was going out there for like two weeks, I'm just skating the local park, uh, skating the bowl. And go up for a backside slash in the deep end, and I clip, and I come down, and I slam right on my rotator oh, cuff. Oh, damn, dude. Yeah, I, like, knocked myself out, hit my face really hard, hit my head. That sucks. Um, and then I was just kind of laying there for a minute. got up, drove right to the emergent care, and... Even after hitting your head. Even after my head, I was like, I'm good, I need to go get this checked out. And they said I was good with my head, no concussion or anything, thankfully, nothing uh, broken. And they checked out my shoulder, and they're like, yeah, it's definitely a, a rotator cuff tear. Like, it's probably not too serious, so, like, they're just like, take it easy, whatever. I'm like, alright, fine, this will be cool. Just, like, you know, hang out with friends. Just take the rest of the trip pretty mellow. Like, maybe try surfing if it's small. And so, mm -hmm. I was like, this is going to be fine. I'll be good. Shoulder felt okay, not great. And then we get a huge swell in the next day. Yeah. Like, it was, it was like 8 to 10 foot swell, so perfect waves. Um... So my friends who have a boat, we went out, we were like, all right, we're going to go out to this Masonboro Island, which is like one of the local surf spots in Wilmington. Super fun. Um, but you either have to swim across the inlet, paddle across the inlet to get to, or you have to take a boat. And my friend thankfully had a boat at the time. And it's like mid-November, so good surf, pretty cold. Um, so we're like, all right, well, let's drive over there and let's get some sick surfing. Exactly. Wait, so like... I gotta ask, have, have, yeah. you ever, have you ever surfed in like, any like, well, like foreign countries, like? No, I wish. When I was out in Europe, I was I was hopefully gonna be surfing uh, in some cool spots in France, but never got yeah, to. Never. Oh, yeah, because true. COVID, and I just didn't have my boards out there. How about the Hawaii, you've been there? Uh -uh. Mm. So, like, most of the places- Whoa, 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 I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the places you've been talking about are on the East Coast. You, you, East Coast? Yeah, oh yeah, I've done West some West Coast trips okay. too. I'll, I'll get to there in a sec. Okay. Finish up yeah, the story yeah. really quick. Uh, yeah, so we surfed this crazy, I was just gonna go out there and take pictures and be a photographer and stuff, and we paddle, we take the boat, we get to the uh, island and stuff, and we walk out and check the waves, it's pumping. like. Six to eight, and then even like some 10 foot sets, just crazy barrels, like super fun, super choppy. It's like a tropical storm out there. It starts to like downpour rain. So do you guys like take a tape measure? Like how do you measure the waves? You just know, <laughs> you, just, you, you just, just know. If it's taller than you. Then if it's taller like, than you, uh, if it's overhead, then it's good. Well, I mean you, like you're, the, you're yeah. pretty much the tape then measure. Then it's really big. If it's taller oh, yeah. than, then there's yeah, your six yeah, foot over here. Cool. Yeah, really yeah. Cool. So I'm like, all right, I got this. Like, let me, let me just try. Um, was not a good idea to go out and surf, but I got a couple waves, shoulder was killing me, that was kind of the last bit of surfing I did for the rest of the trip. Oh wow. Probably made the shoulder even worse, but it was so worth it because it was a great, great time. I think I might learn how to surf next summer. My parents are, we're going to Florida for yeah. a graduation trip. I'm, Heck yeah. A beach, I'm trying to learn. Surfing yeah. so much fun. Surfing I, has I, a I good time. I've been like twice. Um, the second time I went, I was not, but I took uh, lessons the first time. Um, in Ocean City, and then this past summer, uh, Jake Dynan, our good friend, shout out Jake Dynan. Yeah, shout out Jake Dynan. Um, shout out JD Company, we're going to have to have him. <laughs> yes, sir. He's got a clothing company. Go go follow him. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, but so he, he took the homies out, and we, he gave us like a little private lesson, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So it was a good time. time. Yeah, so hey, West. Cheese on a board. Yes, we yeah, gotta get you out there, Cheese. Hanging yeah. 10. Yeah, bro. Shout Hang out surfing. Ten. Seriously, big shout out surfing. Surfing, it's also like, the thing about skating and snowboarding is like, I'm afraid of falling. Mm. But, like, but falling surfing, bro, you're falling into the ocean. Yeah, it's like, God's that, creation. that can't hurt. It'll, right. just, it'll just hold you. Yeah. Picture this big cheese in a Speedo. Hang, oh, hanging hang hang time. Hanging time. Hang time with ten, cheeks like, out. Like 20, <laughs> 20 foot wave. Yes, right? bro. All I want to see it. With sun, like his sunglasses, sunglasses on, on. Yeah, dude. Gel. Santa <laughs> on the way next to him. 
For sure. Santa. Well, yeah. Santa. You, you ever see Santa surf? Santa. Oh, Santa's oh, a right, big dude. surfer in the summer. Is yeah, it? Dude, you Mrs. Claus? Down the South Pole? Yeah, dude, South Pole. Big, big pump, bro. Dude. Pump's big out there. <laughs> shout out Santa. <laughs> shout, shout out Santa. Shout out Santa. He's coming in a few weeks. Yeah, 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 dude. You guys, he knows if you've been naughty or nice, so. That's have, right. Have you been nice this year? Dude, super nice. Good. You know, give him back to the community. Good boy. Uh, give him back to me. Give him back to Cheese. His son. You know? His, his, so he actually had a few sons. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, big talk. Cheese, Jack, Mike. Those are my kids. Yeah. He's, a, he's our he's our dad. Mm-hmm. Great, 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 great dad. Yeah, hey, so many He is <laughs> yet to be at one of my birthdays. No, we'll get, yeah, it's, it's okay though. Maybe one year. This year. This year. Hey, if you're not, I mean, yeah, yeah. we're leaving. Yeah. So we're finding um, a new dad. Exactly. <laughs> so, surfing. What don't you do? Let's talk about that. What don't I do? I don't know. Um, surfing, skating, crochet. You don't crochet. I haven't crocheted. Skate, before. Crochet. I want to. How about fun. water polo? Yeah, big water polo guy. Really? Not actually. He's on the Liberty team. Yeah, he's on the Liberty <laughs> water no, polo team. Full, full do ride. they have a water polo team? Probably. I they might. Good. They have a bowling well, team. Well, of course they do. Big A's the captain. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, look at him. He's built I know. What can I say? You could probably stand in the pool. And <laughs> just yeah. So, so bowling. You mentioned bowling. Yes, bowling. So I'm a bowl. big bowler. Huge shout out to the big bowlers. Big bowling team. That's my bowling team at Liberty University. Oh. Intramural bowling team. We love it. You know. Boys with big balls. <laughs> Bo- bowling balls. Right? Yeah, bowling balls. Yes, sir. Yeah. I have a bowling ball in my trunk. I love bowling, bro. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's a What's passion. That? Where'd you get, Where'd you find a bowling ball? Uh, me and Vince were driving on the side of the road, and uh, he saw a cooler he liked, right? Yeah. So we got out, and we realized there was a lot. There was like a crowbar. There's a bowling ball. Just a lot. A <laughs> lot of valuable bro. stuff. So. Uh, we, put, we threw it all in the trunk. Um, I ended up taking him home, right? He takes the cooler out. He realizes it's, like, broken. Oh. He's like, uh, yeah, I don't really want it. So now I have, like, a bowling ball all, this, all this stuff. Yep. <laughs> I, I, it's, a, it's an all right bowling ball. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. So where do you bowl? It's, it's big. Yeah, so... <laughs> do, they, do they have a... Uh, yeah, at Liberty, we have our own lanes. Uh, underneath DeMoss, which is, like, our main wow. like, student center where I don't our think, classes are. Like, is stuff. that... It's legit. It's like full size bowling alley. Like any other? Yeah, room. it's it's so rad. it's under. It's like in the in a basement. Not in a basement. It's so just it's like, like down okay, the stairs. It's, it's like, like on the that. ground floor of oh, like okay, our. So uh, wow. Who's, who's, never, who's got the biggest balls? <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> who rolls the biggest balls? balls? I, I roll a size a ten pound large finger hole okay. ball. Okay, so that's a big ball. That's a big ball. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got big fingies. Big fingers, you know. Throw the balls big. You ever get your hands stuck in there? A couple of times, probably. Really? Yeah, I mean, we mess around and use smaller balls with the small finger holes just for fun. Um, do you like... Your balls, do, do they ever get blue? <laughs> no, jeez. What color is your ball? <laughs> do you have a ball? I don't, yeah. I just use the university's balls. Damn, dude. I need to get my Do they balls. have Liberty logos on the ball? Sadly, no. They should. Damn. It's not university. good branding. Well, I was going to say, why would you put logos on your own balls? That'd be kind of yeah. weird. Yeah, I get it. I get exactly. It. You don't, you, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so do you pot? Like, are you... You sit there and polish your ball up? Oh, yeah, bro. You just wipe down, get it nice and... Uh, get all the foam. off. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you, you need to involve the balls when you're polishing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when you polish, you need to polish you gotta, your balls. You, you gotta polish your shoes, your balls. Yeah, polish do, it do, all. do you have a pair of bowling shoes? I don't. Again, I, I use the universities. All right, yo. If you know anybody who um, works for a bowling... Yeah, if any bowling companies sponsor. out there want to sponsor us, please do. Uh, I mean, do you see this... Uh, like this Thunderbird guy, Lanes. Thunderbird Lanes. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been to Thunderbird Lanes? I have. That's my local lanes here. That's like that's, the that's my home lane. <laughs> that's my home lanes here, yeah. <laughs> there aren't a lot of They bowling. birthed me. Really? They birthed my bowling career, yeah. Yeah, you ever bowl at like uh, Happy Times? I used to, yeah. Happy Times, to, yeah, <laughs> happy times yeah. was the spot. It was the spot. Yo, down, what is it spot now? Down. Just it's nothing. nothing. It's just nothing. They, it's just they like tore it down. We bro. should make it. We should make it uh, the Cheddar Jack headquarters. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep a lane there for me too. Of course. Yeah, just we'll, we'll get the biggest balls just for you. Yeah, <laughs> biggest size ball. Wait, so um, but like, how'd you nice, get into bowling? Um, that's a good question. I don't know honestly. I think one day I was just like said to a couple of my friends, "Yo, let's go bowl," and we bowled and fell in love with it. And then we're like, "Let's start an intramural team," and um. That's how it all went down. So, uh, how long have you been bowling? A few months. Oh, so not that long. <laughs> it's a fresh passion. It's a, I mean, since I was a little kid, everyone bowls with their parents at like yeah. a young age. But uh, yeah, I just joined a bowling team. You a ever few put the gutter ago. rails on? No. When I started, I, I just play a little, play with the rails up a little. Um, you ever play wee bowling? 
We bongs, yeah, we bongs the shit. train when you can't get out. Yeah, you know, when it's raining or when there's when a pandemic rain, going on. A pandemic. You gotta, you gotta bowl big on the Wii. Dude, I, like, I feel like bowling's, like, kind of hard. It is, yeah, it's a skill. Like, I mean, you gotta stretch, like, Yeah, stretch. I, I stretch before, too. You stretch before? Oh, yeah, big, big time. You need some foreplay for the balls. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, all right, what, what don't you do? Back to that. So you yes, bowl? what don't I do? I bowl, I skate, I surf. I snowboard. So so skating. Fashion design. So skating, surfing, and snowboarding. Was that? Those are my main like passions. Sports. sports. Did kind of they all get involved at what like? Yeah. Okay. So of? I started probably snowboarding first, um, and then when I was younger, one of my neighbors had a skateboard, and I was like, "Yo, that's sick. Let me try it." Fell in love with it. You know, like I BMX scooter skated as a kid, and yeah. then kind of just gave up with them all, and so I was in like seventh or eighth grade and picked it okay. up again and then you know kind of been it was on and off with it for a little yeah. while and then i guess been passionately skating the past three years i guess yeah kind of really being back into it and taking it serious yeah how often do you skate every day okay. <laughs> yeah i try to at least every day or at least six times a week yeah and oh. where where's oh, the yeah. where do you skate <laughs> i skate at the ymca in this town i'm home yeah uh shout and, out the ymca yeah big shout out ymca uh, and then at school, I skate just around campus. We have some fun like spots, little ledges, some staircases, nothing crazy. Uh, and then we have two parks. Uh, the university owns a park right off campus, and then we have a park uh, downtown Lynchburg. That's interesting. I've never like I don't know any other real schools that have a yeah skate, a skate park. park. It's Liberty's legit. Um, it's like it's slept good on. Skate scene. Yeah, it's a good skate scene. Yeah. So is that uh? So you, is that what you spend most of your time doing? It's yeah, skating? skating in the books, bowling, and hanging out with friends. Sounds like a good time. It is good you time. You ever snow flex? Yeah, uh, sometimes. I haven't rid up there this season yet. Um, you, you don't have your board down there, right? No, nah, I'm going to bring it down, though. This uh, Tomorrow, I'm actually going back to school tomorrow. Do they, finals, like, so. do they got, like, the artificial snow going? No, it's actually, it's turf. It's crazy. It's turf. Turf. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really, it's Does really it cool. Is it, it cold? Like snow? No, it's just wet. It's wet. So they have like turf and then they have like little sprayers oh, that yeah. are in the turf and that just sprays the turf and then you can ride. It's like, basically it's like a backyard ski setup for like the summer, but huge. It's like, it's literally a full mountain. Yeah. Like a full ski run with like two jumps. There's like a, a 10 foot and a 12 foot jump and then they have an airbag section and then like a whole bunch of rails. Does it's, it ride, it's legit. Does it ride like snow? It, you'll... Yeah, for the most part, you just got to be careful. Like, you can't turn as hard. It doesn't really hold edge well. So, how do you... You just... It's just a straight shot? Like You can go straight. You can still carve and turn, yeah. but, like, it doesn't... It Obviously, it's not like snow. You can't yeah, carve into the snow. Like, yeah, yeah. It so, won't really grip if you're trying to go rail to rail. You're a junior, right? I'm a freshman at... I don't know why I thought you were a junior. <laughs> I'm a freshman at Liberty, no, yeah. But you've ridden it before? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've no, been... you see, I thought I thought you were a little older because you were like, yeah, I've ridden it before. I don't know if you've ridden it. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. Um, Yeah, I've ridden it before. Just I have a lot of friends, even before I went to Liberty, that I knew that are on the snowboard and ski team up yeah. there. So I travel up there. Um... So my sister, I feel like my junior friend who works at Dogwood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, like, uh, they so they have a ski and snowboard team there. Yeah, it's very interesting, so especially yeah. because it's in Virginia. You know, yeah, right. Really, you wouldn't think. Well, I mean, there's a bunch of mountains. The school's surrounded yeah, by yeah, mountains. Yeah. But like, you would be like. This school has a ski snowboard, you know? Yeah, you mean? wouldn't think. It's mostly like a club thing. Like, yeah, yeah. It's competitive. It's yeah, like, it's competitive. They it's travel. Like, we host competitions at Snowflex, um, and they travel, like, literally all around the States to for competitions so, every winter. So, in the in the winter, right, if it's cold out and they're spraying water, does yeah. it ever freeze? Uh, unless it's really, really cold, it doesn't. Only, okay. Yeah. But even when they get snow on, it's funny. When there's snow on the Snowflex, yeah. they'll typically shut down. Really? Snowflex, yeah, they won't run the lifts. <laughs> yeah, which is funny. That's funny. But people will still go up there and ride it and, um, yeah. with the snow. It's, it's really fun. It's our little powder days. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah, so um, anything like any other trips or anything? Like, yeah, back to the West Coast. Uh, okay, yeah, we talk East Coast. Let's now talk let's talk West, West Coast. Coast. Yeah, so I've been out West quite a few times, uh, mainly out to Colorado to visit some family, like where my dad grew up and whatnot. Um, Got to see a bunch of places. I mean, I've been going out west that, ever since I was a little kid. Is that in the mountains, Colorado Springs? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's straight up. It's by Pike Peak. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's a couple hours from all the big like resorts like Vail, Breck. Um, what else? Boys with Love Big Butts. <laughs> yeah, Boys with Big Butts. 
Um, yeah, so I've been out to Colorado a few times. Went out to California for my 16th birthday trip with my dad, which was super rad. Where in California? Got to, so flew into LA, went down to San Diego, surfed San Diego for a few days. Uh, drove through Long Beach, checked out Long Beach, Cherry Park. Um, and then went out to Venice to visit my aunt, my dad's uh, sister, and stayed with her for a few days. Got to surf Venice, uh, skate to Venice Skate Park. Got to oh, meet Scapegoat. Uh, got to meet Miles Silva, which was really okay. sick. Yeah. Uh, really cool scene out there. Um, and then flew out of LA back home. So what's like? What are some of the main differences for surfing on the West versus East Coast? Yeah. Is there like? Um. It's I cold. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of cold everywhere. And when I was in California, you, I was wearing a four three, and it was I think it was in like February. Okay. So it's still like winter time, but um, I mean, the cold. air was warm out there, yeah. but the water was cold. So is it just, is there really any difference besides, I mean, I think the waves are a little bit different. Yeah, East Coast, like Belmar, where I grew up surfing in the winter, it's freezing cold, but it, it's yeah. crazy waves, super steep. You surf in the winter there? Yeah, I surf, yeah, yeah, yeah. I surf year-round. Wet suit. Wet, thick wetsuit. Um, Does that thing keep you actually warm? <laughs> yeah, it keeps you really warm. Do, do full, but like, you got the... the yeah, hood, booties, gloves, everything. Damn. That's it's, sick. Yeah, it's a good time. Um, really cold. You got to... Sit in your car for like 10 minutes with the heat blasting, and then you have to run straight to the water and yeah. hope that you don't freeze. Wow. It's a good time, though. You ever do a polar bear dip? I have not, but I've I've surfed, yeah, I mean, dead of winter with yeah. snowing outside. Well, so. In your boxers, just your boxers? <laughs> just, just boxers, yeah. Just nothing. Nothing, yeah. Nude yeah. surfing. Sounds like a good time. It's a great time. Yeah, the hell with windsurfing. I'm all about, I'm all about nude surfing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Um... <laughs> Yeah, so what else do you spend your time doing? Fashion. Let's talk yes, fashion. fashion. So we we got a lot of points to hit here. We, we got, do. I mean, fashion. Let's talk, yeah, let's yeah, talk fashion. Yeah, fashion. Um, when did you get into fashion? Ever since a young age, honestly. Okay. I've I've always loved, like, I guess dressing up, dressing different than other people. I've always liked being, you know, just different myself. Um, but I guess I really got started getting into fashion when I was probably in fifth grade, just instead of wearing athletic shorts and... Like, just a Nike shirt with, you know, some bright orange Nike Elites to Classic. school. I'd wear, like, a polo shirt with a pair of khakis. Like, you yeah. know, nothing crazy, but just, you know, different, spice it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, my dad's always been big into fashion. He's always been a huge influence on, on me. And, like, very been... My parents have been so supportive with everything I That's do sick. with fashion, snowboarding, and um, everything like that, and traveling. It's, it's really awesome. What are some of your favorite brands? Yeah, favorite brands. Love... I love Gucci. Um, oh, yeah. Burberry. I love those uh, big designer brands, uh, and then some smaller brands. I like Supreme. Love Supreme. Smaller uh, brands. Supreme. Not some, well. Not I, not I not, not designer. Not I designer. know you mean. Yeah. So Supreme. Supreme like, SA and what? hockey. Love big shout out Jason Dell. He's an incredible, He's incredible designer and skateboarder. Um, he makes some crazy stuff. He does. You like Levi's? Levi's cool. Yeah. So let's let's some talk. Ones. Let's oh, talk yeah. like you want to go from head. He- Head, head to, to toe, toe or toe to head with your favorite brands? Ooh. Um, let's go head to toe. All right, so hats. Where hats. Like, what kind of hats do you like? Mm-hmm. So obviously you're wearing vintage. Beanie. Yeah, vintage hats. The beanies, I love Vans yeah. beanies. This is Vans beanie. Okay. Super sick. Um, but anything vintage, like I have some pretty cool vintage, like old Olympic hats. or Pal- Palace. Palace, yeah, I have some Palace hats, uh, vintage Nike hats, some pretty cool stuff, yeah. All right, cool. So, so and then... Sh- what are you doing? Shirts or like um, outerwear? Just outerwear in general. Outerwear. Okay. So, so if you're gonna, all right, let's start with, um, let's work our way. Uh, you wear from, scarves. Scarves are cool. You wear scarves. Yeah, I like scarves. Yeah. So let's work. Um, short sleeve to long sleeve. So you okay. wear just well, obviously tees. like same brands. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Vintage tees too. Vintage Love tees. vintage tees. I think Bank Journal. Big shout out, shout out Bank Journal. Super sick Australian surf brand. U.S. Japan. Yeah, Australia. Australia. So they have. That's where they're, they're worldwide, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, who else is sick for shirts? I like Patagonia stuff as just outerwear in general. Um, big on what they're about, just like reducing the amount of things that you have in your closet and really having just essentials. And you know, I, I think it's a lot better to spend more money on a shirt that you're gonna have for a longer period of time than buying like spending half the money and buying on a shitty on a yeah on a not great quality just yeah. you know plain T-shirt. Yeah. So you wear, so that's like. T sh- like t-shirts, Patagonia. Yeah, Patag- I don't really wear much Patagonia t-shirts. Okay. I like their fleeces. Yeah, they their have jackets Patagonia. are okay. sick. Um, <laughs> everything, yeah. But t-shirts mainly like vintage or just core surf brands or skate brands. Um, former, love former. Everything sick. from like 
hat to pants to shirts to even shoes that have a sick Vans collab yeah. to board shorts. That's sick. All right, let's yeah. talk pants now. Or pants. shorts. Like, you ever wear shorts? Like Jean shorts. Okay. Jean I shorts are tough. Shorts, shorts. shorts are where it's at, bro. Summertime and you're skating. Shorts are winter best. time. Shorts oh, yeah. are where it's at. Um, Short ones or like longer ones? Not longer ones. I can Below get the knee. Both. Yeah. I can go, both are I sick. Can go yeah, both are sick. Do you want to show off the thigh tats? Oh, well, we're going to have to talk tats. Yeah, we'll talk tats in a minute. So, um, we're back to pants, shorts, whatever. Yes, okay, so shorts, um, I don't know, Nike has a couple, of, like, cool, relaxed-fitting, like, athletic shorts yeah, that I like. I, uh, I don't really wear shorts much. I'm lounge. kind of pantsy around. Yeah, sweatpants, shorts. When I lounge, I like to wear yeah. some, some shorts, pants. Oh, I just so, threw some shit on when I... Yeah, I know you mean. Got my Under Armour. <laughs> Love it, she's well, rocking. still drip. Yeah, Nike yeah, sweatpants. Dude, she's always dripping. Bro, Nike sweatpants, uh, just sweatpants in general are nice this time of year. They are, yeah. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of jeans, though. I like uh, Lucky Brain and Levi's. Yeah. Those are my go-tos. Heck yeah. I'm, I'm going to pee, keep talking, all right? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. About, about to pee my pants. Should we take a quick intermission? No, no, break? no you guys can keep doing it. We can keep talk. talking. All right, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> pants. Uh, Dickies, of course, just classic. Oh, yeah. Um, really thrifted. I thrift almost all my clothes really? besides like if I'm buying some a designer piece or uh, or like a skate brand or like surf brand, like yeah. former Banks Journal or Rhythm, like stuff like that. Yeah. But always you know, shop local, thrift your clothes, support your businesses, support local businesses, buy your homies brands, you know, all that stuff. Everything you can. Yeah, stay away from big high end fast fashion brands, it's just not good. Yeah. Support local Nomad. Nomad, yeah, shout out Nomads. Shout out Chris at Nomad. Great surf, skate and surf shop through the Doyle's time. Yeah, yeah, great stuff over there. For real. Yeah, I mean, it's it's also like this pandemic, you gotta support Yeah, people. seriously. Like, I mean, it's like they depend on it. Yeah, seriously, it's so sad seeing all these small businesses or even small, like family owned restaurants that have been around for years just getting crushed by this because people can't, they can't open their restaurants for in store seating. And, yeah, and it's awful. I mean, yeah. it's like, it sucks because like there's some great places mm-hmm. too that have just gone under and it's like they yeah. don't deserve it. But not at all. What are you talking small business? Yeah, small it's businesses. Sh- shop local. local. Shop locally, yeah. Shop uh, Nomads, Pico, uh, very oh, yeah. good. Do we already talk about you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we talked right, about well, it. Shout out Nomad. Um, yeah, it's it's a cool local shop uh, for sure, especially for clothing. They mm-hmm. probably have the, some of the coolest clothes. They do, stuff. yeah. Uh, and definitely. Monkey's Uncle. Monkey's Uncle's Uncle has sick, sick, sick vintage, stuff. like yeah, sick, sick vintage, vintage sick um, wear. like lo- like local Philly teams, mm-hmm. like a lot of Eagles yeah, for Philly. sure. It's right. Um, yeah, Third can we really, talk shoes? Shoes? We have not talked shoes yet. Uh, not sorry to backtrack, but yeah, no, no. Talk shoes. I know you you big into shoes. I'm a huge shoe head, big sneaker head. Um, since for a long time. So for skate shoes, I love uh, Converse. Just the skate, the pros, the highs. Yeah. Um, the Chuck Dude, Taylor high pros. I, they're sick. I um, I the the pair of shoes that you ordered. Yeah. My dad hit me up and was talking to me about it because he was gonna get them for me, mm-hmm. but they didn't have the size, and that's the oh, same no. thing you said to me. Um, so I had to go find, uh, you see, you see the Sean, Sean Pablo's? Oh, you found those? Ones? Yeah. That's sick. Dude, I'm Those hyped. are big, dude. Sean Pablo is one of my favorite skaters by far. Literally everyone on the Supreme and FA team are so sick. Converse has favorite skaters. Mm-hmm. And Converse too. Yeah, a they, lot of those. Converse has Converse. super sick shoes too. Yeah, Converse, Converse. And just in general. Sick. I mean, um, I f- their skate shoes are definitely different than their regular yeah, shoes. Yeah, for sure. So that's super sick. Yeah, so Converse. I like Vans. I'm skating the Gilbert Crockett Pros right now. They're super sick. Gilbert Crockett, local Richmond guy, like two hours from where I go to school. Yeah. Oh, no. um, really cool dude. Yeah, basically Converse and Vans are what I skate in. And then um, that's kind of what I wear as well. I wear I have some Nikes, just like some Jordans, Jordan 1s. No nice. dunks, sadly. I want to get some dunks. Yeah. Um, Chunky donkeys. Chunky donkeys. <laughs> yeah, shout out Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're real monsters. Up there. Yeah, they are real monsters. So they're cool real monsters. They are cool real monsters. Did you know in, uh, I think it's Burlington, you can be a nudist. Really? I think so. That's sick. One time somebody was telling me that they, uh, well, you can walk around naked. Yeah. Damn. You can't, they do, you can't, they do different there. So you can't. No kids around though, right? Oh, no, kids yeah, are actually, like, it's, it's weird, but I mean, um, mm-hmm. you basically, you can't unrobe in public. Okay. So you have to walk out of your house naked. Word. And then it's chill? And then it's chill. But bro, uh, I'm going to get my mail next time in Vermont. If I ever move to Vermont, I'm just going to walk out to the mailbox every day. That's cool, naked. man. I mean, bro, yeah, why not? Why not? I mean... Big about... Just warn your neighbors first. Yeah, exactly, bro. It's just so, like, give them a little warning, but... Yeah. Uh, 
Or like a sign out front. Yeah, sign know, out front. Nude, like nudist, 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 nudist mailbox. Nudist, yeah. I will walk into my mailbox every would day. Would you ever join like a nudist colony? Probably not. No. no. <laughs> not, I'm not big on cults. <laughs> 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 or stuff like that. No, yeah. no. Um, yeah, so back to shoes. Shoes, yes. Um, that's kind of it. Just Converse, mainly Vans. I mean, I like some designer like Gucci has really neat shoes. You have Gucci uh, shoes? I do. Burberry has some sick shoes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, Nike, Converse, Vans. Pretty standard, like, just... If I'm trying to get some stuff for the winter, say, like, I can go with jeans, sweatpants, what do you recommend? For shoes-wise. Mm, shoes-wise. So, wise. Do you want, like, running sneakers? All right. Are you talking, like, boots, boots or... or... No, I mean, I guess, like, casual, like, walking around. I mean, I, I, casual shouldn't wear... said, I shouldn't have said winter. I guess just in general. Yeah, like, casual like... wear, honestly, like, a good pair of Vans. Yeah, you can never go wrong with a solid pair of Vans. I know it's pretty, like, basic, standard, and everyone's probably thinking yeah. I'm just, like, every other fashion kid, but... Yeah, just a solid pair of Vans. Or solid you, color. Like, I just, too I just like all black. All black. I'm a yeah. big, for skate shoes, I, I, I only will wear all black. All black, maybe like yeah. a blue. Gray is pretty sick. Gray is cool, gray, yeah. yeah. Just basic, just, like simple, dark tone. Yeah, I don't earth like tones bright. too. Earth tones right. too. I don't, like, I I'm not get, a big fan of flashy shoes, honestly. Yeah. I can get behind like a flashy skate shoe, but I can... Like, like a red. Sean like Pablo has a sick red. Some, some red. Uh, like, it, it really depends. I have a pair of purple shoes. Yeah, the purple is sick. But like never like anything too flashy. For know. sure. But yeah, so I have geez. a nice watch I'm not wearing today. Watches are geez, cool. Let's take you out. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go shopping. Let's Should go we shopping. do a, an episode where we're yeah, out shopping? Hall. Yeah, like a little. Uh, I mean, yes. like I mean, like I know what I'm doing. Like jeans, well, yeah, shirt, like all that. Hard, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, shoes are a tough one. Shoes, shoes are really shoes, tough. Honestly. I'm trying to catch up on you. Bro, for sure, I got shoes you. Shoes are yeah. definitely like we'll, tough. We'll shop. We'll talk. We'll talk after this. We'll talk episode. shoes. Yeah, yeah, bro. Dude, <laughs> it's, yeah, shoes are probably the hardest thing because yeah. that's like you can wear. I mean, you can't wear anything with anything, but like shirts you and can, pants. Bro. I, th- I'm, like, I you seriously wear... think you can wear anything with anything. It doesn't matter what you are. Exactly. Style is so personal on your own. Like people yeah. need to just be more comfortable with wearing what they want to wear. Like Amen. sometimes I wear athletic on top. Casual Bro, ball. yeah, like seriously, that. everyone has your own unique style. Just stop trying to be someone else. Like, yeah. seriously. Unless you're trying to be a uh, big A. Then no, don't I'm even try playing. to be me. I'm just a normal goon walking, <laughs> I wanna be when I grow doing up. me day-to-day things. I want to be you when I grow up. I want to be my, like my, my like father. Your dad, yeah. Nah, be yourself. Be I, yourself. Yo, <laughs> facts. Um, Soldiers be running around saying, say, copy, copy this, this, copy that. that. Be yourself. Do your own thing. <laughs> yeah, she's, a classic. she's going off with the bars, bro. Oh, yeah. She knows what's up. So, let's talk tattoos. Yeah, tattoos. Let's talk tattoos to finish up. We got a few minutes left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so I love tattoos. <laughs> so, <laughs> very addictive, very addictive. So, how many, ta- all right, how many tattoos? Uh, over 20. Over 20. Over you don't 20 have an tattoos. exact number. I don't, no. R- really? I mean, if I really wanted to count them, I could count them, but... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. He's got to take his pants off for you. Yeah, see that. a lot of thigh tattoos. Let's not do that right on there. No. <laughs> Maybe an exclusive episode yeah. if you buy our uh, patrons. Or yeah, patrons. Fans. <laughs> see, see, uh, see Big Ace thigh After, tattoos. Yeah, exactly. And Big Cheese in a Speedo on a surfboard. Yep, <laughs> yeah, we'll get it all, guys. And our nudist colony yep. that we're starting. Oh, but yeah. it's not a cult. It's not, not a cult. It's just a cult. Cult or whack, yeah. Yeah, we don't have a leader. Yeah. Tattoos. Um, yeah, I have twenty something. I've been getting them for the past two years or so. So, what was your first one? First one was on my wrist. It's just a cross that says "No Fear." Okay. Um, and then from there, I have them all over. Arms are covered. You know, upper arms are done. Legs are done. Stomach's done. Oh yeah. No face or neck. How's it feel? I love them, bro. It's just I'm big on Does just expressing. Hurt? Did it hurt at first? Like, yeah. Oh yeah. They hurt, but it, after a while, like I know this is kind of cheesy, and like everyone says, but. You get like, used to it. You get used to it, and, like, you enjoy <laughs> the pain at some point. What? It's just kind of, like, it just is, I don't know, it's cool. Oh, God what? damn it, Sorry, Alex. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Didn't mean to knock the mic. What, uh, what, what body part hurt the most? The stomach. stomach. I have a big bird on my stomach. Not big bird from, like, Sesame so Street, but it's a big bug. <laughs> what didn't, like, what uh, kind of felt didn't hurt as much? Arms. I don't think okay. the arms hurt like that bad. I this spot would be fine. Yeah, this spot, like, arm, wrist isn't that bad. Yeah. This spot's not that bad. Upper arms, it's not that bad. What's the longest you Uh, sat under the gun for, I think, three and a half hours. Okay. Three and a half, four you, hours to do my stomach. Do? Like, just you just, just lay there uncomfortably. You shoot the shit the the you know, Yeah, you basically. You don't get to go on your phone or anything? No, you can, but yeah. it, like, it hurts so bad I couldn't even listen to music. I was just kind of really? sitting there, like, arm up, like, working under the ribs. So it did was it, rough. did it stop, like, did it stop hurting at some point, or was it just No, like the stomach pain? was just a continuous pain. Did they spread with anything? Like, no, I just took it like a man. That's what's up. Yes, sir. So, uh, you have any other tattoo plans, like, 
Yeah, um, who knows what's gonna happen? Just kind of filling up the arm. Yeah. A couple of tattoos at a time. Nice, nice. Up any the any like specific planned ones that you really? Uh, want? yeah, but I mean, you'll have to see the next time I'm on the episode. Okay. You trying yeah. to get any sleeves, or I guess there's not. Not not really like sleeve sleeves. I like to kind of just covered like little ones all over. Yeah. Kind of stuff like that. How long did this take? Like half an hour. This one took like yeah, fifteen twenty minutes. Yeah. So um, spots you don't want to get tattooed. I don't know. I'd honestly be cool with Ass, anywhere. face, neck. Yeah, I'm would all about it. Would you get your it. ass tattooed? Yeah, 100%. I'd get my butt tattooed. Uh, I would... I don't know. Maybe face, but not... F I wouldn't... I would do face yeah. if it was more, like... I don't know. I guess accepted in a way. Even though face tattoos, like... Post Malone has killer face tattoos. I think the face tattoos are sick, but I just... I don't know if it's for me. Alright, so... In the next five years, let's say... You lose... All of your hair. You're completely bald. Oh, yeah. Would you head tats. Head tats. 100%. <laughs> Dude, Action Bronson has sick head tats. You should get, like... You know who wants head tats? Uh, Grant Ryan. Really? What's he want? I forget, but, like, he, he he's like, yeah, one day I'm going to shave my head It's a big commitment. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. That's my head it forever. probably hurts a lot. I, yeah, I would think so. Yeah, because, I mean... Yeah. It'd be tough. Dude, um... Yeah, dude, I, I, I've been thinking about getting a few. I don't know. Dude, yeah. Yeah, that's I, are I awesome. Like to see. Have the first one be meaningful. I mean, all tattoos should have yeah. somewhat. So either meaning, all yours, yeah, all mine have deep meaning. Okay, um, that's good. Yeah, I would never like. I don't know people who just like get tattoos. Get tattoos. For I tattoos. think it's cool. Like it's cool. like it's an artwork. It's I think art, it's, big, it's just a way of expression. I'm stupid, big on like, self expression. And, do you and think there's? Ways. Do you think there's such a thing as a stupid tattoo? Um. No, because it probably means someone to someone else. So it's not my place to call someone's okay. artwork. Stupid. But if it was like, try like, stamp. Like, I don't know. like some, like, ra like completely random. Like, Maybe. I don't know if it's, I guess, it, I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily stupid. I think okay. it's, like, someone's okay. way I of get, expressing I, Yeah, I totally understand what you said. Um, what if someone got, like, a, like your face tattooed on their chest? It'd be weird. It'd be weird. Kind of creeped out. So that's stupid, but, like, <laughs> but like maybe a little <laughs> odd. I think there's odd. definitely some <laughs> yeah. strange tattoos out there. Yeah, for sure. People yeah. get a lot of famous people. Like, you know Blueface? Mm -hmm. He's, uh, I think he has... Ben Franklin State tattoo. Post Malone his... has his knuckles. Like he has, uh, I don't know who he has on his knuckles, yeah. but like big people. Blueface has Ben Franklin because a uh, hundred dollar bill. Yes, <laughs> Benjamins. Heck but yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Like people who get just people's face on. I don't know. Like yeah, it doesn't make sense. Man. It just I don't know. It's like there are different ways to commemorate someone. Yeah, like a name, exactly, or like something exactly. that represents them. For sure. I just like I. Putting somebody's face mm -hmm. on your body. I don't yeah, know. I don't get it. I got a tattoo I want is uh, my three addresses, 2036, 4300, 3692. Right, all, that's all, where they, because, so then you know where to send cheese. All, stand all like one lot, like 3692 down here, 2036 across the top. So you just leaked your addresses, cheese. Dude, they don't know the streets. Yeah, well, we're going oh, to... Oh, that's fact. If you, you sign up for our OnlyFans or our Patrons <laughs> account, you'll watch Cheese's address. don't know the address. streets. If you Venmo us five bucks... Yeah, five bucks, we'll leak Cheese's address. We'll leak Cheese's <laughs> address. Venmo. No, but bro, Matt, two, zero, three, six down. And then three, and then the six is already there. Oh, so I got you. Smart, that would be sick. 4,300. Yeah. Well, right on the neck. Right. All connected. Right on the neck. I put it, like, right here. If you guys on didn't know, uh, Cheese actually has three houses. Um, yeah. One in California. He's a big baller, boy. One in Calabasas. Yeah. Uh, one in New York. Yeah. Um, and then and one in Tokyo. One in Tokyo. Yep. Yeah, well, I don't so. actually have a house here. I'm staying with Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he actually lives with me currently. Yep. He kind of smells bad. Like it, it smells just, like he smells adopt like adopt him. Yeah, Somebody, please, please. If you yeah, uh, you could buy it on it, our Patreon. Yeah, you so can buy it yeah. for a day. For a day, would you do that? Yeah, take I'm him out sure. to lunch. Dude, I already, take, I already have a, a, I already have a guy who takes me out to lunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Travis Mendel. <Mindell. laughs> <Yeah, sure. laughs> Travis Mendel. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, we're we're getting a little off topic. We got we got to wrap this up in a second. Yeah, so. Uh, Any closing remarks? Wait, okay, what's your favorite tattoo? Let's oh, favorite tattoo? Um, <laughs> like, I know it's probably hard to pick Yeah, I honestly love them all. I don't yeah. really have a favorite. I think the most well done, like, beautiful piece is probably my stomach. I have a big dove. Uh, shout out Jake from Atomic Lobster in Dublin, I think so, is where it is. So, um, was it weird, like, looking in the mirror and being like, I have yeah, I, yeah, at first. Some days I wake up and down. I'm like, why do I have just ink spiders all over my body for fun? <laughs> but yeah. but most days I'm, I love it. I absolutely love all have my Have any tattoos. of them faded or anything? No, all of them have kept really That's well. Good. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you're just going to keep getting tattoos? Just keep like getting it. tattoos. I'm going to keep skating, keep surfing, you know, just keep doing me, man. Spreading yeah. love and positivity as much as I can. Nice. That's a great closing message. So any other closing remarks? Um, just be yourself. Stop trying to be other people. Um, do you, who cares what other people think because it's your life and it doesn't matter what someone else says about it. Just, you know, just find inner happiness is the most important thing. For you know, stay positive and, you know, just... Yeah, Live Amen. Life. keep living life. Amen. So uh, we'll definitely have to have you back. Yeah, on. seriously, we'll have a good talk. There's still a lot we have we to cover. We still have a lot to cover. Um, yeah. Like our childhood with you yeah. being our father, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> all that uh, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. so uh, thanks for listening, guys. Yes, yeah. thank you guys so much. Uh, love you all. Peace and blessings. Shout out Cole Loomis. Peace. Bye. <laughs>